A manufacturer of decorative outdoor light bulbs experienced an equipment problem in their factory. They now estimate that 8% of the bulbs made during that time are defective. We'll define a success as finding a defective bulb. There's a formula for exactly x successes in n trials. And it says find the probability that a random sample of 25 bulbs contains no defective bulbs. All right, so let's define first of all what is n, what is x. We want p and q. So go ahead and write down for yourself what you think n, x, p, and q should be. So what is n here? That's the number of trials. They're looking at 25 total bulbs. So that represents 25 trials, 25 chances to find a defective one. What should be x, which is the number of successes that this particular question is looking for? Should be a whole number, a uh, number of times that you find a defective bulb in this case. They're actually looking for, in part A, they want, what's the chance of finding no defective bulb? Not one, but none. So what would x be? For part A, x is zero, because we're looking for none. We want no defective bulbs. Probability P is the chance of finding uh, success. 0.08. This is the probability of encountering or finding a defective bulb. All right, so Q always has the formula. Q is 1 minus P. So it would be 0.92. That's probability of not finding a defective bulb. All right, now we just want to plug into the formula ncx, p to the x, q to the n minus x. So we want 25c0 times 0.08 raised to the 0 times 0.92 raised to the 25 minus 0. Let's do that on calculator. I get 0.1244, which is 12.5% approximately. find the probability that a random sample of 25 bulbs contains at least one defective bulb. So there's a few possibilities for the way that you could approach that. There's like an easy way and then a really hard way. So you could say that the probability of getting no defective bulbs plus the probability of getting at least one defective bulb they are complements of each other and they have to add up to one then because you got like your probability of zero 
probability of getting one, probability of getting two, and so on. That's going to be a long list, though, because you got 25 trials. So that's just going to keep going like that. And if you really want the probability of getting x to be greater than or equal to 1, you'd be talking about all these probabilities all the way up through p of 25. So I'm saying that this represents the probability of x being greater than or equal to 1. So this is at least 1. And this is the chance of getting none. So my point is, to make things easier here for this particular question, we could just plug in our chance of getting none that we had found earlier and then leave this as an unknown probability. So if we just solve by subtracting we get the probability very easily that way. It's 0.8756, which is 87.6%. All right, then what is the expected value of x? That would be what is the average number of defective light bulbs you would expect to get out of a sample of 25 bulbs? So for this particular problem, the expected value of a probability distribution is going to be the mean of it which is given by n times p. That's the formula for that. So we will want n, which is 25, times the probability of success I get two defective bulbs is the expectation that is 8% of 25. 